Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel! Are you having a good weekend so far? I really hope you are. Anyway, it's finally time for some more music. We haven't done any music for a very long time, so I thought we'd better do some. Now, I uh, you know, did a little search on, Go on uh, YouTube, uh, had a look at music reactions, you know, what's popular, what recent, what, and also what British reactors are doing. And this popped up a couple of times. It's uh, Penta Pentatonics Hallelujah. This was quite popular, so I thought, right, I'll try this. No idea what to expect, except I know the song if it's the, the you know, the popular Hallelujah. I know that song. Uh, but, yeah, I just thought that I'd better do a, a quick reaction on YouTube, because this afternoon I'm going to be concentrating on the Patreon mostly. I'm going to be doing uh, the next 5 of Ted episode, probably Mind Your Language or Clarkson's Farm. Um, and then later on tonight there'll probably be something else on the channel, the YouTube channel. So, uh, yeah, don't know what to expect, um, but, you know, I love music. And uh, if, don't forget, if you go onto the YouTube channel, you can go and find a playlist that I've made, a public playlist of all my favourite music, music that I'm listening to, so you guys can, you know, you can check out what kind of music I'm listening to. It's something that some YouTubers do, you know, so you can check out my taste in music and have a look what's on there. There's some good stuff on there. Anyway, let's get into this. Pentatonics, hallelujah. Let's go. Like and subscribe if you enjoy it. I've heard there was. I've heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. A cappella. But you don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Okay, I'm just going to stop it there. Uh, this is a very different take on this classic song. This is... This is very different. Um, and I mean that in the best of ways. Like, this is really unique and special. It's beautiful. Like, you know when you're singing... A, when, different bands or artists they sing in a certain key and it creates like that mm, like sound when you listen to it with like earphones it, it's kind of like relaxing and it really pulls you in and you know gets you plugged in to the into the music and I really like that but this is a really beautiful um, take on this song I'm wow. <laughs> this is different. Ooh, let me hear that uh, last part again. And you know the humming in the background as well. Not just the harmonising, but the humming. It, oh, it really adds something. It all comes together. It all works together really well. It's just yeah. Beautiful. The baffled king composing hallelujah. I love that one. Hallelujah. And then when he starts singing hallelujah, the background, you know, they come in hallelujah. Harmonizing. I love that's beautiful. Hallelujah. 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 I like that too. Well, your faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof. 
beauty in the moonlight over through you She tied you to the kitchen chair She broke your throne and she cut your hair And from your lips she drew Beautiful location too that they've chosen to do this you know, everything about this just comes together to create something absolutely magical. I love this. This is beyond words. Oh, if she cut your hair, and from your lips she drew the hallelujah. 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 Also, another thing, I only just realised like the first minute or so, it was it, all of it was just their voices, you know, like it sounded like there was a a a, a, ch a backing tune playing, but it wasn't. It was just them making making the tune, and then the you know there's a guy like that, but I think there's like a a, a musical beat and an instrument playing now, but. Yeah, everything about this, it just comes together to create something like really, like nothing I've ever really, like I don't, you don't hear music like this a lot. Everything's so overproduced nowadays, like, you know, you need, you need 150 million beats a minute and, you know, really loud backing tune to cover up how terrible a singer Katy Perry is or someone, some popular artist, you know, and all the auto-tune. But this this is just something different and really unique and it's it's a really refreshing experience because you just don't get it anymore. You know I mean if if you've got a, a if you've got like a grandparent or an auntie or an uncle who's over a certain age just ask them about music what they think of modern music. They'll say the same thing. My grandma says the same thing. You know she says, "Oh, modern music it's I don't like I don't listen to it because you can't tell what they're saying and you know, the voice that you're hearing when you can hear it's fake anyway. So this is a really refreshing, unique experience. That's the thing about thing that's the thing about rare experiences. When you experience them, you really enjoy them because of how rare they are. They just don't happen often. And that guy looks a bit like Kennedy Reeves. <laughs> just thought I'd throw that out there. No big deal. Shoot somebody yeah, learn from love was how to shoot somebody. And it's not a cry that you hear at night. It's not somebody who's seen the light. It's a cold and it's a bruise. Wow, his voice is really high. Wow. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
so much for watching this video. We love you so much. We hope you love this song and all the songs on a Pentatonix Christmas. You can get I that did. album. Just look in the description box below. I loved it. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> don't forget. We love Very you. Very love y'all. I like this. Yeah. That was something different. And it's been a long time coming since there's been some since I've heard some music that's actually different, like I mean it's not a different song, it's not a new song. It's an old really old song. It's been covered by pretty much every major artist, at least once. But I've never heard it done like this. I mean, everything about it just came together to create something absolutely magical and unique. You know, the, the location alone was like something out of, I don't know what, it's, you know, it, oh, it just, it created something special. They did a great job and it was just such a, a calming, soothing vibe, like, it, it, it was just, no other word to describe it really. Beautiful. That's it. Yeah, because it was. I'm really glad I chose. I'm I'm really glad that I chose to do this. Cause uh, I'd have gone on missing, not not hearing this, not knowing it, knowing about it. But yeah, the fact that most of that was it, it was just their voices. You know, the singing, the harmonising, what sounded like instruments. Really well done. So there we are, that's Hallelujah by Pentatonix. Um, if there's any Pentatonix fans who end up seeing this and... you know, Have they done anything else like this that's really unique? Or is this kind of their thing? Is this their, you know, is this their um, gimmick? Is it, no, do you call it a gimmick? Is this like their thing, what they do? They take songs, like generic songs, and turn them into something really special? Because I'm all for that if, it, if they are. I love, I'd love to hear that. But yeah... This was really good. I loved that. <sighs> Jesus. Can't get enough of that. Wow. Yeah. So, there we go. That's Hallelujah by Pentatonix. Like and subscribe. Um, you know, if you've got another suggestion, drop it down in the comments. If it's a music suggestion, great. Let's get some more music on the channel. Um... Anything that gets blocked, it goes on the Patreon page. Also, just a heads up for the uh, Patreons, as I said in the beginning, we're going to be doing some more content on the Patreon today, probably Father Ted. Well, it will be Father Ted, because I'm going to do that next. Um, and it'll either be Clarkson's Farm or Mind Your Language or Bottom. It'll be one of the others that we're doing at the moment. Uh, but yeah, really enjoyed that. So thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you're having a great weekend so far, and I will see you in the next video. But until then, take care. Goodbye.